What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. <sighs> covering battle rap, covering battle rap, covering battle rap. Trying to be professional <laughs> in this thing without. <laughs> <laughs> man, 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 you're talking about being challenged. Oh, man, just some of the things you hear, some of the things you listen to, man, but we're going to get through this. <laughs> we're going to get through this. Shouts out to everybody. Uh, I hope y'all been loving those shorts, man. They've been definitely having me rolling. Those Battle Truth YouTube shorts, man. Fire. If y'all ain't been up on game, check them out, man. Fire. Every day. Along with these blogs, I'm dropping at least three YouTube shorts, man, and comedy clips. So check them out, man. The best of battle truths. Funniest man alive. Check those out. <sighs> Verb, the new Sue Surf, who dominating spaces now. Who have become the voice of battle rap. So Aver now has become the voice of battle rap. So he's the commissioner for battle rap. Out of all people, I didn't expect for it to be him. But most battle rappers didn't want to take it upon themselves to be on faces like that. So he chose to actually do it himself. Well, he was just on there. And he said something I just want to address. Let's listen to what he said. But okay, I heard another one. The only nigga that be rich and come through and just be throwing niggas money is Gerald. Because he, he probably see the abuse from a distance. Like, man, they get banged on. Like, he pulling up here throwing. I, nigga, nigga, that nigga have spent so much money over here that he don't give a fuck about. Yeah, like, and Gerald. Nigga, and he, Gerald yeah, he probably been spent a half a man over here, man. Gerald. Did okay. He said Gerald McCoy then spent like a half a million dollars. A half a million dollars in battle rapping, mainly speaking about of himself. A money he don't give a F about. Few things I want to address on that. He said Gerald McCoy probably spent his money because he's seeing how bad we be getting treated as far as like how the URL be banging on us. And as a result of that, he has some type of compassion or empathy for these guys and decide to come out of his pocket and throw money up for y'all. That's what Bird said. Like, hold on a second, man. Wait, where my damn gavel at? Here, take it, take it. Bang the gavel on your damn self. Don't worry, I'll do it for you. No, 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 no. Man, get out of here with that trash, man. You always losing. No, 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 no. Man, get out of here with that trash, bird. No, stop it. You know what's crazy about listening to this, all this whining and crying about the URL? Bro, you was just, you was just bragging about how good the URL treats you. You was bragging about how you don't go, that when they book you, they give you better plane seats. They give you better hotels that you don't even share the same hotel as other people. Beasley done put you in your own personal hotel apart from the other battle rappers. And you were using this to shame and brag against the newcomers and the ones who wasn't so-called in y'all caliber of battle rappers. I'm talking about literally bragging about how good the URL treats you. And now you're saying that 
y'all be getting treated bad. I mean, which one is it? Because I'm confused. Do they treat you good or do they treat you bad? And why after so long, this is, what I, this is the thing I don't get. Y'all been in the game for how long? Over a decade. Over a decade. And now, when your career is over, and as a result of mismanaging and misusing finances, and you're seeing that you're at the end of your career, now with this pity party of how you want to be compensated for all the so-called losses you took that you actually agreed upon taking. That you agreed upon taking. Okay, I, 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 I'm trying to understand this. Then you said Gerald seeing how bad hold on let's listen to how you say how bad they being treated hold on let's listen to this again they hey, lost a lot mean? of shit niggas lost like computers motherfucking you know what hey, i'm saying what if they hey, think you I know what to do with that that's the good thing about like, even though and, i would never like, i that's that's petty look out come on i need hey, to hey, y'all here and, giving and, me money and, and, and guess what okay i heard another one okay the right only here nigga that be rich and come through and just be throwing niggas money is Gerald. Okay, now that's now he's saying that to secure his bag and to uh uh make sure Gerald continue to throw money. See, see, see the tactic the tactics and game is very weak and recognizable. So it's like you're trying to acknowledge what he does to persuade and influence him to keep doing it. But look at his reason why Gerald McCoy throw them money. Listen. Because he, he probably see the abuse from a distance. Like, man, they get banged on. Like, he see the abuse. He see the abuse from a distance. The abuse that the URL doing to them from a distance like damn they getting banged on okay first of all you brothers the same y'all brothers the same damn age as smacking them y'all the same age y'all only three four years apart from each other okay y'all the same ages the abuse you know what's crazy about listening to this coming from Verb, though? All on this internet, all you do is speak about how you mistreat and abuse women. All you do is acknowledge them as being dogs and whores and just there for you to enter in every hole that they got. All you do is tear down battle rappers who haven't accomplished what you accomplished, who ain't got what you got, who ain't made it to the room that you made it to. So your whole conversations is tearing down women and making battle rappers look small who you've been bigger than because you've been here longer than them. And now people supposed to feel so-called sorry for you because the URL ain't booking you for battles. Come on, bro. Like, come on, man. No. No, no, no. No. Come on, man. Nah, bro. No. No. Sorry. I just, that's what I'm saying, bro. I can't, I can't buy off into that, man, because I just got to keep it real. It's hard to feel sorry. I could see if you actually was being mistreated. I could see if y'all was actually being mistreated. But you can't say they showing up love and doing this and y'all in the big leagues and all this, we this and that, we these and this and that. Then now, when they choose not to deal with you no more, now you want to tell us it really wasn't like that. 
and how we supposed to feel sorry for grown men who the same ages, y'all the same ages as smack them, literally. The same exact age. How are we supposed to feel sorry for y'all? I'm trying to understand this. How are we supposed to feel sorry for you, brother? When you agreeing to the deals, when you agreeing to the contracts that they not forcing y'all to sign, that they not forcing y'all to take, that you choosing to do. And what's crazy, the way y'all be talking like before battle rap, y'all was the man. That's what you always say. Oh, I was the man in my city. Before I even met Smack, no man, I was having money. I was having women. I was known to this. I was getting this. I was getting that. Okay, so how we go from that to this? How we go from this to that? Like, like how was it really? If you were really about getting money and really having things before you met Smack and really was the man in your city, how you then throw away all that man, that man, in you to only be abused and mistreated and getting banged on that don't make bro that don't make sense to me when your whole career all you did was talk down on people like you still doing right now you always just been talking about before you got into it with url how better you got it on a url than so many people that's on the URL. And then again, what do they want people to do in the end? Choose sides. No. Y'all grown men. If you 37 years old and you signing bogus contracts, you deserve that. That's on you. That's on you. Especially when y'all talking this real talk and this slick talk and this player talk and this real talk. That's on you. You're 30 something years old, still signing terrible contracts. That's on you. Mistreated. On here, Hitman Hollow talking about how he being mistreated. On here, Hollow talking about he being mistreated. On here, Mook talking about he being mistreated. On here, Lux talking about how he being mistreated. Same like the ones that's being mistreated is the ones who, <laughs> come on, who ain't made right decisions on their money. Mistreated? Man, I wish I would be a grown man talking about another, per another man mistreated me. Abused me? Mistreated me? banged on me hold on man let's listen to what this brother said this brother tripping this brother this brother tripping but never like i that's that's i will be in calvin look and say yeah so he just look and say i man, wish he was in here for me to tell him personally oh thank you bro they, like he i'm sure he didn't built everything so drill come from that nfl where i will be in he pulling up here throwing i nigga, Okay, right. That be rich and come through and just be throwing niggas money is Europe. Hey, lost a lot of shit. Niggas lost like computers, motherfucking. You know what I'm hey, saying? Hey, what if they hey, think you I know have what? to do with that? That's the good thing about like, even though I would never. Like, I ain't, that's, that's petty. Like, hey, hey, that's y'all right. here and, giving and, me money. And, and, and guess what? Okay, I heard another one. The only nigga that be rich and come through and just be throwing niggas money is Europe. Cause he he probably see the abuse from a distance, like man, they get banged on. Like he pulling up here, throw I nigga, nigga, that nigga have spent so much money over here that he don't give a fuck about. And especially when he say that, that man and threw so much money over here that he don't give a f about. You you telling me that man don't give a f about? He said throw away five hundred thousand dollars. Right, ask his wife. Ask his wife and kids. Do 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 he care about throwing away five hundred thousand dollars? That's crazy. But notice what verbs say that he don't care about. <laughs> That's more persuasion for Gerald to hear 
hoping that Juro continue to spend money on him. <laughs> that, that, that's just so easy to recognize in Pete Game. How you going to tell this man <laughs> that the $500,000 that he put into battle rap, he didn't give a F about as though <laughs> he can keep doing it? Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Stop it. You want that man to make you rich. But that man puts you in plenty of position to get rich. If you can't benefit, let me tell you something. If you can't get rich off this man throwing you thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars, you don't deserve to be rich. You know how many people, you know how many people would love to have that at one time and can make something out of it, who really know about hustling, who really know about flipping things, who really know about investments, who really know about investments. How many times it got to get through your hands? How many, look, and that's crazy. How many times you brothers talk about this but still be hurting? He, all through the thing, he's still talking about hurting, ain't even really having nothing, how brothers down on their luck. Like, come on, man. I, I, see, that's what I'm saying, man. I, I, I just don't know. Like, I can't listen to this as if, like it's real. I can't listen to this and feel sympathy. I can't listen to this as if this is game. I can't listen to this knowing the things that I, I know. I just can't. It just don't make no sense. And then it's like you trying to play the victim, bro. But all you have ever done through your whole career is victimized. All you do on spaces is down women and guys. That's all you do. Like literally, that's all you do. But then emotionally want people to have empathy for you, like you some type of victim, like you being mis the brother said mistreated. Like really, you you, you how old? Who mistreated you? Who mistreated you? That sounds like something that you say to a female. You don't say that stuff about men. <laughs> like, like, really, as a man, who mistreated me? Who abusing me as a man? I'm sorry, bro. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't rock with that, bro. Not at all. And like I said, by me being a blogger, I see a lot of things going on in battle rap blogging. I hear a lot of things. I remember you over and over again bragging about how good the URL has been to you and all the favors you get and all the cons you get and all the sex you have got. Now, you on this URL renegade thing and now you saying things that I don't get it, bro. When you were just honoring them. When you were just saying how good they were to you. Like, so I don't, I don't, I don't get that at all. You were bragging hard about that. I guess. I just don't feel no, I just don't feel it. That's just me. Like I said, bro, all you do is put people down. That's all you do is put people down, bro. You talk about women like a dog and you talk about the battle rappers, the little battle rappers know like a dog. And then you talking about the URL mistreating you. Right.